What's up, internets? This is uh, Matt and Matt. We are the masters, and we're going to be casting a 2v2. Uh, before we start, though, I want to actually formally introduce myself. My name is Matt. And um, I guess my name is Matt. Yeah, so that was all formal <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, so what are we casting today, Matt? We are casting a game uh, that a friend of ours played, and he decided that we could get him famous because this is our second cast, and that's that's how we roll. All right. So <laughs> this is a this is a one v one. It is a Protoss versus Zerg. Uh, we're not going to say who our friend is yet because we're not really sure how it's going to turn out. So we we just want to make him famous. Whoever wins. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we Whoever have deserves it. <laughs> we have Mad Max down here in the bottom right hand corner. And Pagoda, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, he is the Protoss. He's a piece of furniture, that's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> a very useful piece of furniture, Matt. That's okay. true, that's true. So, do you happen to know what map this is, just by looking at it, Matt? This is Shakura's Plateau. Okay, this is Shakura's Plateau, I didn't know that. And it's the new version, too. There's, right. no, uh, there's no backdoor rocks. <laughs> okay. See, you know more about the maps than I do. <laughs> so, there's your part of the team. You just tell me the map and I'll cast the I rest contributed. Of it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right. So, what kind of strategy do you think we can expect from mm, the Protoss? Uh, looking pretty standard so far, getting his gas uh, a little bit a third of the way of the gateway. So. Uh, All right. I'm gonna go four gate just because everyone goes four gates. This is a weird wall in he's got going on. Normally you can block that off with just the pylon and the gateway and a zealot, but it looks like he's planning to put his Twilight Council up there also. Or you mean his uh, cybernetic score? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, Twilight yeah. Council. Sorry, I've been watching too much Artosis lately. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and yeah. I don't know the yeah. names of my own buildings. <laughs> yeah, okay. but. Uh... It's, uh, it's looking pretty standard so far. One gas still. All right. And then uh, from the Zerg, we have a, I think it was a 15 hatchery. Looks and like then, it. And then a, probably a 15 pool as well. So. Cool. Uh, nothing uh, nothing super exciting yet. You know, this kind of resembles the Spanishua style, um, which is a new, <laughs> it's, it's kind of an up-and-coming style of play uh, that oh, has yeah. seen some recognition from some of the pros, uh, namely Idra acknowledged that it's good if you're actually a better player than the other player. <laughs> so that seems like the kind of strategy he would like. Oh yeah. Idra right? is he's he's actually pretty good. And you know, I hate him, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. So this game's Ooh, moving chrono around. boosting uh oh. chrono boosting a stalker out. Alright, alright, he's getting yeah. ready. Yeah, and his warp gate, but that's that's pretty standard. Yep. And there's the second gas, kind of late, in my opinion. Kind of late, but and, you know. And uh, Zerg is supply blocked. <laughs> How does that uh, happen? Pro <laughs> and Protoss is uh, about to be supply blocked. You know, that's quite a blunder, though, getting supply blocked so early in the game. I don't know if yeah. he'll be able to recover. Oh, oh guess, guess what's coming from Protoss? The four, four gate. gate. Looks like <laughs> a very, very standard four gate. Um, yep, and. His supply actually looks a little low, actually. Uh, generally, you want to have 26 uh, supply by the time your gates come down, so... Uh, he'll probably have those probes out by the time they actually finish. Alright. We shall see. Either way. If, yeah, if he gets this 4-gate off, like it looks like it's going to be a little bit late, but if he gets it off, then the Zerg player is going to be in trouble. Oh, <laughs> double spine crawlers. That's uh, That'll help a little oh, bit. Yeah, he's but, ready. He's ready. Yeah, de definitely doing the Spanishua style. No <laughs> Zerglings. No um, speed, no nothing. Ugh. Only two queens, though. He needs more queens. And yeah. he's trained queens right now, so there we go. I was actually uh, I was watching Spanishua coach somebody on his stream the other night, and he said he likes to go with one queen more than the number of hatcheries he has. So he can have <laughs> I think one at the queen. Very, at the bare minimum, too. Yeah, so... Well, he normally already has a second hatch, like, so early in the game. Oh, and here we go. Mad Max is complaining about lag. Blaming the lag already. Nothing's yeah. even happened. 
Well, that's quite a blunder on, in itself. I'm really not sure if he'll be able to recover from that lag. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he sure is in dire straits. <laughs> yes, he definitely is. So we see we see the Protoss here in the bottom left. He's going Robo and Forge at the same time. What do you think about that? Um, and, and plus the four gate, I think, and a Twilight Council. <laughs> and a Twilight he, Council. I, I think he can't support this. That's what I think. Okay, this is <laughs> this could also be a game changing blunder. And he has almost 400 minerals. At this point, I say he should probably expand because. I mean, he's going to need to. Yeah. <laughs> and, wow, Zerg's getting a ton of Zerglings. Okay, Moving here we out. go. Moving out. Let's see Miles. what he can do here. Uh, well, Protoss has two units, so... That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the, the unit in front is a Zealot, so it can hold surprisingly long, especially if he warps in a couple other Zealots uh, behind the Zerglings. So, um, mm, definitely. His warp gate is finished. What is he... Oh, he's... Chrono boosting out, a, oh, not Chrono boosting, but he's getting an he's observer. Building, oh, he's building an observer. And oh, the Protoss. No, he didn't move it. It wasn't on hold position. Oh man, <laughs> oh, bad move. That was. All these zerglings. Oh man. So. All these zerglings are gonna get in. Oh, why is he oh, running away? Come on, Mad <laughs> Max. What? What is this? What is he doing? Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's a four gate rush in Mad oh, Max's man. base. Is it, oh, a proxy pilot. Wow, there we is missed, a proxy totally pilot missed that. There. Yes, we did. Oh god, we're horrible at this. It's cool, it's cool. I think I noticed it, but I didn't think anything of it. Because personally, yeah. oh. I wouldn't have used that proxy pylon. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you can uh, see, you uh, lost, lost the queen, yes. But it looks like he should He's... be able to hold this off. Oh yeah, no problem. See some transfuse micro. Needs to Let's transfuse? See it. Oh man. Oh wow, what a lucky queen. 3 HP. That's... Yeah, man, that's that's rough. Oh man. And his other one has 32 HP left. Jeez. This guy Mad Max needs to practice his transfuse micro. That's seriously. That's all there is to it. Yep. And there's the infestation pit. Going all for right. the quick hive. Cool. Ten minutes. That's pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And Protoss is throwing down four cannons. Oh, he feels like he's in dire straits now. He does. That attack, you know, sometimes it's easy to overcommit to an attack. And as soon as he saw his, like, the Zerglings running away from his base, I think he should have pulled back at that point and, you know, maybe taken the chance to take his expansion or something. Yeah, or at the very least gone for drones. I mean, he focused on the queens. Mm -hmm. It's uh, not the best way to spend your time when it's limited like that. Yes, I agree. Let's see what's going on here. So... Protoss is... I don't know what Protoss is doing. It doesn't look like he's doing anything, but his mineral count is so low that... It's... Yeah, how is he spending his minerals? <laughs> it looks like he's got... Oh, Proxy Pylon's still there. <laughs> okay, so he's warping in Zealots, but... That's oh, it, yeah. here we go, here we go. Looks oh, like Mad it. Max found the Proxy Pylon, and he's moving in. Ooh, that was... rejected. That was a good move. Yeah, oh, he's good got that Observer out. Okay, so Mad Max is taking his third, which I think at this point is a good, a good decision. Actually, I think he should have probably gone with a macro hatch. He can use this hatch as a macro hatch to spend larva, and you know, because he's gathering a lot of minerals. But oh yeah, two thousand. You know, it's it's nice to have that hatch up there. You don't have to defend it, and you don't have to mine from it. You yeah, just need Protoss to use has it. no. No, he probably probably knows it's there because he has the observer. It's but not. It doesn't look like it. I mean, I'd be up there attacking it right now. Yeah, if that's I knew a about good that. point. That's a good point. He probably didn't even see that drone go by. <laughs> but, and Protoss is finally taking that expansion. At taking that expansion. Fifty supply. And an idle probe, man. I I do not think he can recover from having idle probes everywhere. You know, that's just it's such a dangerous strategy to go with. <laughs> yeah, that, that one probe. It's uh, who knows what that can what that can end up doing for him. Well, if you think about you know his his current supply, he's got three zealots in his base. He's got all of these stalkers, sentries, and zealots out here. That leaves him with like thirty drones. That one drone. Yeah, he does one, need more drones. It's one thirtieth of his economy. Yeah, all right, big so battle in Zerg's base. Big battle over here. They're infestors and queens. Yep. 
So this is like an early iteration of Spanishiwa's style. You can see they're all force fielded off, but... Those force fields are actually not helping at all, because all the queens are attacking and none of the zealots are. Yep. <laughs> I think it turned out to be a lot more advantageous for the zerg in this situation. Oh, very much. <laughs> yeah, Protoss, he needs to run away right now. <laughs> yeah, now's a great time to get out. But, nope. Nope, I'm just gonna hang out in the zerg base. You know, that's fine, because uh, at this at this level, micro isn't anywhere near as important as macro, but at the same time... He needs to work on his macro, too. <laughs> he's throwing up two more, for two more forges. He has three two. forges now. Three forges? I don't Where know what he's going to do with these. Where are these forges? Oh, at the front? Yeah, at the front oh. of his base. Man, well, obviously you need one for attack, armor, and shields, right? Right. I mean... Because you can you can support producing four gateways, a robo, and three forges all on two base, right? <laughs> I guess this guy believes he can. He's finally he producing has... probes from this new nexus. Yeah, so. lots of chrono boost. Actually, chrono I don't... Boost. has he has he used any chrono boost? <laughs> uh, not in quite a few minutes. <laughs> I mean, he has 100 energy on his main nexus, so. Yep. And what he really needs to do is transfer... Actually, I was going to say he needs to transfer probes, but he's not even close to being saturated. He only has, like... What is that? Eight? Uh, he only has 12 probes as main. Okay, so he's going double Stargate now. He's transitioning <laughs> from a four gate into a double Stargate um, three forge strategy with one robo. I mean, that it seems like that would be a very powerful... very powerful strat. With Definitely the economy to support it. Yeah, although if he just doesn't produce gateway units and just goes uh, void race, I think that could work out pretty well. Cause Against the all the queens air. and yeah, their the investors. <laughs> it, it could work out. He needs to he needs to hit and run. But okay, yeah. He, he needs a lot of void race. <laughs> Boy, it's too bad they, uh, Blizzard got rid of that Flux Veins upgrade because yeah, yeah. that would be very helpful that right made them, now. That made them too good. One thing I'd like to see from Mad Max right now is uh, a little bit of more creep spread to connect that third base. It'd help significantly in defending it, not, especially now that he's producing drones and you know sending them over there. So, and he's got all these queens. Why not? It's not like he's going to use transfuse on all of them. <laughs> he's all, yeah, he needs to. Well, he needs to be injecting too, and he's not doing that. Ah, oh, man, he that's, just has all, all of his queens. That's huge. Off. That is really huge, that's, yeah. You know, I that is a tide turner in this game, and now all of a sudden I feel like it's going in the favor of the Protoss. Mad Max is in dire straits. <laughs> <laughs> dire straits indeed. Um, <laughs> Alright, so it looks like uh, the Protoss is pretty well burrowed in. Is there any way that, uh, aside from Overlord drops, that Mad Max could get in here and wreak uh, some havoc? Well, these ultralists that he's producing now will probably help him out a little bit. <laughs> okay. How yeah. do you think they'll stand up to this four cannon front that the Protoss has going on? Well, charge right through the center if he has enough ultralists. I think it could work out. They do crazy damage. Alright. Because buildings are armored, and they do 43 damage to armored right now. Alright, well that is, that is a good piece of knowledge to have. And actually, yeah, Zerg, he has, uh, he has plus two attack upgrades and plus two armor. All right, so, okay, here we go. So the Protoss has two, he's got four Void Rays sitting around. He's got two more coming out. He's, and no upgrades. No upgrades, but he is getting two more Stargates. So <laughs> what we're seeing right now is a well-executed four Stargate, one Robo, four Gate, strategy. It's it is quite possibly the most powerful transition I, I could think of for a Protoss army. Yes, I agree. And, yep. you know, he's got plenty of minerals and gas saved up to support it. Um, <laughs> he's, got these, he's got these two assimilators ready to be mined from. Yeah, no, they're just waiting for probes. They're waiting. They're, they're looking forward to being mined. Alright, so we've got some uh, over observer scouting going on here. He's probably going to see this army that Mad Max has and shit his pants. Probably a little bit, yeah. Just a little but, bit. Yeah. I, I gotta say, tier 3 Zerg, 
not so good against air units. Yeah, you have mentioned that to me before in the past. I I am inclined to agree, but these I, I really think these infestors and queens in combination will be very strong against void rays. Yeah, no, totally. He, the Protoss is not going to be able to do anything with the ultras on the ground. He's going to have to worry about all of them, and I don't think the hit. I don't think the micro is going to be good enough. All right. Well, we could be seeing an encounter here pretty soon. It looks like Mad Max is either just making room in his base, or he's <laughs> ready to move out. Huh? He's doing pretty I'd like good. I'd like to see, you know, anything really. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, this is a typical. Uh, Old school StarCraft, uh, well, not old school StarCraft, old school StarCraft 2. Saw this all the time when, you know, people were just getting used to the game, just sitting back, taking bases and stuff, macroing up. Mm hmm. Yeah. Alright, here we see uh, Pagoda moving in with his Void Rays. How many does he have? Yes. Oh, nine of them? Nine Ten of them? them? Ten. Oh, Hydra's. We've Hydra's, good choice. Oh, there we go. A little bit of deviation from Spinichiwa style, but oh, what was it? Look how much, look how fast they're dying though. That's just oh, fungal oh, okay. growth. Fungal no, growth. Mad Max, effective. don't run your infestors over there. <laughs> a little, uh, little micro blunder, but it looks like he came out ahead on that in that battle. It's hard to tell for sure though. Um, Actually, what I think he was trying to do was distract the void rays with his infestors, so his hydras could deal damage. Okay. Well, that makes sense, but, yeah, why, but why what he should have done queens? was use infested terrans. Yes, yes, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. But what is he doing with his queens? I mean, right now he could have his queens spread out on the map, just pooping out creep tumors. Or injecting. Or injecting. Because he obviously does not have enough larva. Because yep. he has 1,500 minerals. Actually, when I was watching Spanishiwa coach someone, he said that that's actually the most important part of Zerg play is, you know, injecting, and then next comes creep spread, and then after yeah. that comes everything else, you know. Yeah, no, I, I can totally get behind that philosophy. <laughs> like, so, if, you, if you're not injecting, you can't produce fast enough, and if your creep isn't spread, you're less mobile, and that's what's key for Zerg armies, is mobility. Oh my god, Matt. Look at these cannons in <laughs> Blue's base. Oh this god. is... I don't think that even That's Ultralisks it. could make it through this. That's this a, yeah, you know, standard wall. Protoss wall in right there. <laughs> All right. No, actually, I think this uh, man. If okay, so basically, what it, uh, Mad Max needs to do now is get uh, Broodlords because there's four pylons powering that entire thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it'd be much easier to take out four pylons with Broodlords than it would be because with the Ultras, you'd have to tunnel all the way through and. Yep. Actually, I do believe Brood Lords. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Why did he give us this game? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Protoss was... versus Zerg. Zerg wins. And uh, I must say, I'm. I'm sorry. This game was incredibly boring. <laughs> it was incredibly boring. I apologize to YouTube. Um, our friend here is Mad Max. He's gonna get famous j from this win. This was an epic win. Oh, uh, very epic. Even though the game was rather, it was it was a slow game without a whole lot of action. It was epic in its own way. So, <laughs> I guess that's it. Uh, do you have anything left to say, Matt? <laughs> I, I, got, I got nothing. This, this right. game was hilarious. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching our, uh, our, well, this is our second uploaded cast. Uh, we are the Masters. My name is Matt. And my name is Matt. And we will see you guys for the next game. Later. Peace. <laughs>